Hey, this is Nestle, and you're watching Trending Topics with Pigeons and Planes. You gotta do your thing in real life. Just let the internet reflect it. So I feel like a lot of people like think they can just post a picture of them outside of the babe store. Like, what does it really mean? Did you achieve something there? Did you meet with anybody from the marketing team? Did you, you know, introduce yourself to the right people there? Or did you just ask for a discount? Like, do your thing in real life. Like, get things done. You can't come to Pigeons and Planes acting like you did an interview unless you did an interview, you know what I mean? Taking a picture, posting it, tagging them, thanks for having me. And then Pigeons and Planes see it on their on they socials. It's like, bro, you blackball yourself. So just, you know, do your thing in real life. It'll all come to fruition and you can upload a picture then. The time will come. That's what I meant by that. They try to finesse the internet into believing there's more to it than there is like people will love you for you or at least you want them to watching young thug in the studio i felt like i was with michael jackson bro so fine <laughs> yeah young thug is like a really huge inspiration to me i love his music like his flows his cadences the way he the way he manipulates words crazy when i got into the studio um with him it was through a track and it was a session with him, Hutterich Pablo Juan, uh, Duke, uh, Cardi. I want to say Migos came too. I was just focused on like how Young Thug worked. He worked so fast. When I heard it, it was just like it was already polished. It was ready to go. You could have uploaded that to to whatever streaming service that night. It would have been ready. It sounded just beautiful. To have that vocabulary to record a, a whole damn song in 15 minutes, like I aspire to do that one day. So shout out to Young Thug. Oh man, the fucking BMF Pain Olympics. The worst thing I ever seen on the internet by far. They I wanted to call the cops on the spot like, "Bro, y'all got to come kill me or something." Like, "Bro, this is terrible. Like, I hate this video. Why did I just see this?" Like, my memory can never be erased. I wish Black Mirror was like real. All that shit is terrible, but the Pain Olympics are so terrible because it's like 30 minutes, and I sat through all 30 minutes. I recommend everybody watch it just just to say fuck you Nestle at the end. Because, oh my God, it will scar you for life. I call that one the it. Because I look like it. My hair looks crazy. I look like I'm about to whip my kids. Like I look like Monique from, um, what's that movie? Precious. Like, that's what I look like right there. That outfit's terrible. Um, that was a clout fit. I call it a clout fit. Because, like, clout fits are, like, you know, they're generic pieces. You see, like... It tells you the brand all over it, like, you know, it's it's all over, clout fit. And people still do that right now. You know, Thrasher T with the clout sunglasses, that's that genre of outfit for me. I was in Tokyo and uh, I was at this store called Don Quixote, it's like a mega store and they sell literally everything. You can get toothpaste, you can buy a Louis Vuitton bag, you can buy a Rolex, you can buy a hairbrush. I saw that uh, a lot of people, what they do is they buy those outfits and then they go ride carts in the middle of the street legally, like you can ride it amongst the traffic. But I don't have an international life license to do that. Here goes like a Mario toy, like of him on the go-kart. And so I just bought both. I just call that Super Nestle World or some shit, but fuck it. My first mixtape in two years, Wildflower. A lot of my music is pre-recorded for months before I release it because I make so much. It's not because there's any process to wait on. I create and direct all my stuff. Like, all the imagery is all me. You know, you feel like you let people down, but you're trying to do your best. That's why everybody looks disappointed in the cover. My attire is very high fashion, and then all the women, they're kind of dressed down in comparison. So it was just all about like, damn, I did so much so well for myself. What about the people that care about me? It's a paradox. Wildflower is a lot about self-reflection and admitting your, your, your contradictions you know what I'm saying? Like really coming to grips with yourself. My life has been moving a lot faster since the last project. You know, being signed now, like seeing the world just changes your perspective on a lot. You understand that you aren't necessarily that special. And not in a bad way. You know, we all think we're special. We all feel special. But you realize how big the world is. And you think about things a lot differently. When, I, when I'm really feeling emotional about a moment, I capture that and I remember it and I put it into my music. Listen to Wildflower, take what you get from it. It could be a life experience or you could turn up to it. You choose your path, Wildflower. Thank you guys for watching. Nestle Wildflower out now. I love you.